Dr. Hans Hoffman, Symphony Engineering VP, is focused in increasing user input into the standards process. Why is this such a focus for you, and what do you expect to gain from all the user input? Well, it is very important that SMPTE is listening to their customers. Customers on the one side are the industry, which are applying the standards in their products, but also the users themselves, because they are going to invest in the products. So we have to listen to those who are going to making the buying and the investment decisions. Uh, and it's absolutely valid to provide those users a forum to express their opinions, their requirements. And this week, actually, users have their say. As users provide input, there are expectations that the input will lead directly to results. How do you expect to provide feedback to these users? Well, first of all, to give you a little bit the number, we had this week in our session where users had their say, uh, 12 to 14 users speaking up. Users, we are coming from the motion picture industries because we are here uh, in Burbank, certainly, but users were also coming from the broadcasters. And broadcasters in the US plus Europe, they have provided very concrete input about their needs. And this was very valuable for us. Now, every user will receive feedback from us, but what we also need to do is we need to analyze and identify common user requirements. Because it is clear, SMPT is driven by the resources which we get in order to conduct the standardization work. Now, by providing a, a common approach to common user requirements and inputs, we can hopefully also allocate the resources to conduct the work. At IBC in September, SIMTI, EBU and AMWA met to discuss who to work better together, providing an open dialogue for user input to be brought into the SIMTI standards workflow. What has transpired since that meeting and what are the next step plans? Well, actually, what happened this week was um, a natural consequence of our meeting at the IBC. At the IBC, we had a meeting of the senior management of the EBU, of the SMPT. We invited also the AMWA and the FIMS project representatives to join us. Uh, the echo at that meeting at IBC was clear. We need user input in order to ensure that the work what we are conducting in terms of standardization meets the needs of the market. Now, here was step number one, I would say. Users had the opportunity to express their opinions. And this was a lower level. It was less than the senior management of organizations. Uh, our next step will be again that senior members of the EBU, the SMPTE, the AMWA come together and to discuss what have we learned now between IBC, this event here, the analysis of the input what we've received, and perhaps at NAB or IBC next year, where we can again come together and discuss strategic issues. So we are on the path which we have established in IBC and we are making step-by-step -step progress in driving actually the media standards. This week, Simpty concludes its fourth quarterly meeting of 2011, grandly hosted by the Walt Disney Studios. What specific points of progress can you report? Well, I could really now talk for two hours about the progress, what happened this week. There were remarkable, remarkable results. The ACES work, we have done a lot of progress in the IMF work, which is very important for interoperability uh, around the master formats here. Um, we have done a lot of work on 3D TV itself. Um, there was a couple of new projects being established. Uh, as we speak, we are launching the kickoff of a high frame rate uh, project targeting the applications uh, of, uh, of 3D TV in the, in the cinema environments. Simpty is focusing many standards on an annual basis. More than 30 produced in 2011 alone. What other areas of focus in the future? Are you breaking into new areas of media technology? Well, definitely yes. The higher frame rate project for 3D in the cinema is a remarkable project in this context. We are looking here in this study group. It is first of all as a study group what we undertake in the full echo chain, which means from the creation of the content until to the presentation in the cinema. We are going to analyze in this study the individual steps or, or areas in this ecosystem chain which would require standardization and then and this will be the output of the study group in a very short time to initiate concrete activities in terms of standards. The Forum on Emerging Media Technologies is being planned by SEMTI in collaboration with the EBU. 
The event is being held in Geneva in May 2012. The program is meant to provide a summit where executives from communications, media, and entertainment industries can come together to talk about the future media technologies. Why is this an important issue at this time? It is very important at that time because we are in a transition. We are going to utilize more and more new kinds of consuming media, be it on the, be it on the tablets, be it on um, the big screens in the home, when you go to the cinemas, uh, over the internet, utilizing different kinds of distribution forms, even down to mobile. Um, this is a revolution on the one hand on the consumer side. On the other hand, we also know that in the creative space, in the production space, we have first of all the constraints of production efficiency so to produce more content faster but also with higher quality quality is very important technical quality in this context and by the way I would like to say that SMPTE is probably the worldwide only forum in the standardization environment which looks after maintaining the te technical quality the program is available online at simptiforum.org where people can register what do you expect attendees to gain from the program? Well, the attendees are in the upper management. And we do believe and we will provide a program, which is already there partly. Uh, this allows them to make decisions for their companies in the future. Um, decisions which are on a strategic level, uh, longer term, mid term. Uh, they will be able to derive even some financial understanding about the implications, what technologies will mean. So it's highly relevant for anybody who has to make, I would say, executive decisions for his company. Um, this is a forum where you learn about the trends in the media industry, um, where you can also analyze by means of what you hear, decisions to be made for your own organizations. And that's actually the aim what we have here. Any closing comments? Well, SMPT is great. SMPT, however, is embedded more and more in an international context. And this is what we would like to see. I mean, um, we have several standardization bodies around the world. Mm -hmm. SMPT is now reaching out to cooperate with the EBU. This is what we do, uh, which is a user organization, but non-standard setting. Um, as EBU, we leave it pretty much to the SMPT uh, to set the standards here. We are reaching out to um, ISO, IEC. Uh, we are cooperating as a liaison partner with the ITUR. So we are embedded globally around the world with the work what SMPT is doing in terms of standardization. And certainly if something happens which is driving towards new innovations, um, it happens in the engineering committees which we have established here. Thank you, Dr. Annie Chang is VP of Post-Production Technology at Walt Disney Studios. She's also chair of the 35PN50 IMF Working Group at Simpty. Annie, what happened this week that you'd like to tell the Greater Simpty membership? This week was actually our normal standards meeting where we have some ad hoc groups and then we have the working groups and technology committees that meet and discuss the standards that are in progress. One of the standards that we're working on right now is the Interoperable Master Format, or IMF. That's in my group, 35PM50. The Interoperable Master Format is a really interesting part for SIMTI because I think this is showing the new and improved SIMTI where we're trying to run a little bit faster and more nimbly to meet the demands of the marketplace. IMF is actually moving pretty quickly whereas a normal standards effort might take you know three or more years to actually complete. Uh, for IMF because it is a file format and uh, as we know with file formats the sooner the better otherwise uh, before you know it you'll have to make a new st standard. Um, so for IMF, the, uh, the great thing about uh, SIMTI is that we are moving along and we're hoping to have some draft documents for IMF by the spring of 2012. Ted Sapolsky is Senior Director of Technology Research and Standards at ESPN. He's also Chair of the 35PM40 Working Group on the 3D Home Master at SIMTI. Ted, what happened this week that you'd like to tell the greater SIMTI membership? Well, Annie just did a great job of explaining what we typically do every quarter when we get together face to face. I want to talk today about something special that happened uh, this week. Um, you know, it takes courage and it takes leadership to know when to stop doing something. 
what do I mean here? Well, the 3D Home Master work was about putting together the specifications for the items that belong together for a finished 3D production. Uh, the work started rather early in the evolution of stereoscopy, um, and uh, the first phase of the work, as is often the case with SIMTI standards activity, is a learning experience for the participants. I include myself in that. I learned a lot about uh, stereoscopic television in the process. But as time goes on, sometimes events overtake the work that's happening. Such was the case also with 3D Home Master. Other work was presented to SIMTI, IMF is the example in this case, that might be able to do everything that the 3D Home Master work was supposed to do and much more. So what do we do now? Do we scrap the work? No. A lot of work was put into this, a lot of good information was gathered, and in the case of 3D Home Master, the decision was made just today to create a report out of the work that we've done. Even at this late phase, we had the courage to make the decision to stop the work towards a standard, and an EG in this case, and instead create a report to memorialize the work and make it available to future SIPTI standards work.